Hi, this is Jeff from Evans Tuning. I'm here to show you how to install a set of camshafts into a Honda B-Series motor. Um, first thing we need to do is take off the distributor, the valve cover, and the upper timing belt cover. Alright, the first thing you need to do is pull the spark plug wires off. You just yank them off the distributor and then pull them out of each respective spark plug hole. Next step is to remove the actual distributor. There's three 12 millimeter bolts holding it on. And there's two plug, uh, distributor plug. You gotta plug. And then it's ready to come off. Next, we need to remove the upper timing belt cover here. There's two 10 mil bolts holding the cover on. Uh, these have already been loosened, so I'm just gonna pull these out. Next, we need to remove the 10 mil nuts that are holding the valve cover to the head. There's eight of these. Next, you have eight grommets that hold the valve cover on. You're going to have to pop these off. They're fairly simple to remove. Um, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver here and just get underneath one just to, to pop it off and get it started. Uh, next, we need to remove the br uh, breather lines. Um, obviously, not every car is going to have these. This one particularly does. And valve cover should just uh, be able to just pull right off. Next, the timing belt cover needs to be taken off. That was loosened. And <clears throat> now we're ready to bring the motor up to top dead center. Uh, you need to use a half inch drive with a 19 mil socket to put onto the crank pulley bolt. And what you're going to need to do is bring the engine up to top dead center. Um, you'll spin the motor and this particular crank pulley is marked with zero degrees, which is top dead center. Uh, right about there is top dead center. And you can verify this by also looking on the camshafts. And you'll see that there's two marks that are pointing towards each other. And you'll have dots that should be either an up arrow or the skunk two cam gears have an actual dot that signifies this is the up. So this cam, the cam gears are at top dead center as well as the crank pulley. The next step in removing the camshafts is actually removing the camshaft caps and bolts. There's 10 12 millimeters and there's four 10 millimeters for each cam. So I'll, remove the, I'll start removing the first, first couple bolts here. The next thing you do once the bolts have been loosened is to pull the cam cap, cam cap cover off along with the bolts. The easiest way to do it is to just, once they're all loose, just give it a tug, and they all come off all at once. So taking these, I usually put them down in the order they took them off. So I'll set this here. Set this here. Now you have your cam caps that are um, number one through five. I take these off and I lay them out the same way they, that <clears throat> they're on the motor right now. So I start with cam cap number one. You may need to use a mallet to get some of these off. Sometimes they stick. Just tap on it gently and they'll come right off. 